Millen here from teslataxi.com.au. Just want to give a quick demo on all the different charging options that you've got with a Tesla. As you can see, we're currently charging this car with what they call the UMC, which used to come free with your Tesla car. That comes with 10 and 15 amp tails in general, but we've obviously got it running with 32 amp circuits here. I'll get to that later in the video. We've also got in this house a permanently installed charger, which could be three phase or single which can deliver more power to most vehicles. You can see we're plugged in currently with the UMC, slightly thinner lead. And you can see on the display here, we've currently got 86%, 15 minutes to full charge. And you can on the app toggle that between your kilometers and your percentage. You'll notice here, if you are paying for power, this has added 16 kilometers in this current charge session. And the apps are set up so you can manage a fleet. Obviously check where all of your cars are. So this is another one of our cars. You can see where this car currently is. And people with the app can also book in services. So obviously if we want to see where the car was, we can just click there and bring up the maps, etc. So the Tesla app is already set up really well to manage fleets of cars. And also very handy just for your own personal use. On the app, you can change the amps that the charger is delivering. So if you've got a house where you, for example, as we've got set up here, needed to be able to charge three cars at once, you might set them all down to a lower amperage, which will basically throttle the speed down. So you could have more cars charging at one time, and that could just be done. Anyone with the app can change that charging speed and also the charge limit, because of course, if you've got an older car, you'll not want to charge it above 90% on a daily basis. So you can just set your charge limit on the app on any of your cars. I'll explain more about that charger in a moment, the slightly high speed charger, but more importantly, you want to be aware of how the display shows you your charging information. So as you can see here, that's the amperage we're getting. And that's the speed we're charging at in kilometers per hour. However, that of course will change with your power consumption. So if you've got a more efficient car than this one, most Teslas are about 10% more efficient than this large Tesla. So if that's 10% more efficient, then that for the same amount of kilowatts into the car is going to be a much higher number. So of course, if you add 10% to 36, you're probably gonna be looking at 40 to 45 Ks per hour for the same power delivery. You can change that here, changing to percentage. And then up on your display here, you'll end up seeing the seven kilowatts, which is much more relevant information to your charging speed. You've got all the same controls here over your charge limits and charging speed. And as you can see on the app, now that we've got it changed to percentage, the app is showing you that we've delivered three kilowatt hours of power, so at 27 cents, that'd be around about a dollar worth of charging delivered into this vehicle in this charging session. As soon as we reset the charging session, that information will clear, so it is important to record that on your app. So press and hold until it goes white, disconnect. And then if we wanted to use the faster charger, we'll see the app we'll recognize it's been plugged in again <clears throat> but this one here is the three phase that's able to deliver more power so we should see when this starts charging that the power delivery here instead of showing seven kilowatts on single phase this will go all the way up to 24 kilowatts so no sorry don't mind me 17 kilowatts on this car or most teslas the model 3 and the model y actually have a maximum ac charging speed of 11 kilowatts so your single phase charging at 7 kilowatts is still most of the maximum that you can get with a tesla model 3 or model y we'll just take a couple of seconds for that charging to ramp up to full speed and the app will show that now 17 kilowatts delivery of power and as I said if this was a model 3 or a model Y so for example this model 3 if we plug that in here 
it would only be reading out and able to receive a total of 11 kilowatts AC due to how the cars are built and what's inside as far as AC, DC conversion. This UMC that we were using before is plugged into an adapter bought online that meets the Australian standards for one of these 32 amp wall sockets. That's the circuit breaker for the installed Tesla charger. That's for the three phase socket here. And that's for the single phase socket. So as you can see, there are two types of sockets available. Might just quickly show you that UMC as well before I disconnect that. So I'm doing this video by myself today. That's the UMC. That's the tail. Connected to that tail, then we can activate that charger. And depending on what tail you've got connected to the UMC, will allow it to deliver as much power as it's able to. As I said, this one can only do single phase, maximum of seven kilowatts. If you've got one of these high-speed sockets installed at 32 amps. That's a five pin. That's a three pin. So this one is three pin single phase, 32 amp. And this one is five pin. The socket itself is three phase, 32 amp. But as I said, the UMC is only capable of using a single phase out of that particular socket. Teslataxi.com.au if you'd like to rent one of these vehicles short term or long term for Uber or chauffeur driving, teslataxi.com.au